What's up guys? Welcome back to Bike Mike Motors. We are here today at Copart. Check out a couple things real quick. Uh, it is like 95 degrees right now and about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, a little side note, something interesting. I probably, probably don't smell very good right now because I had my water yesterday in the morning. Uh, my main water line at my house stopped working or it was leaking, so I just shut the water off. Uh, tried to fix it myself made some calls and as of today i still have no water and i have a part i'm waiting to come in that should be there i'm gonna pick it up hopefully on the way home and get it fixed so if i look a little crazy be glad you can't smell me but if i look a little crazy that's why no shower today and no shower yesterday so i'm um, a little bit of the struggle life right now a little bit of the struggle life but anyways got a few cars here to look at well actually one truck and one rv maybe two rvs and one boat so it's gonna be a little bit of a quick one i got i gotta thank my buddy Jeff here at Copart stopped, talked to me for a little bit, and gave me an ice cold Coke, which is the only thing keeping me running right now because <laughs> I am hot. But we're going to find this first car, and I think, I think it's right over here. So let's get into it. Next one up on the list, my list for today is this behemoth. <laughs> this is, I'm about six foot tall, and I come up to about the winch wiper on it. This is a 2012 roadmaster mongoose i think that's what it's called dynasty and this thing is just massive it is massive okay we're propped up a little bit on the front here um this one is listed as a engine burn and i don't know a lot about these i know they're expensive i know they're fairly comfortable to live in being this big you got your um Looks like water on off or a uh, drain on off there you got some built-in lights right there pretty cool guys this thing is so huge and someday i can't even say that i honestly am going to be bidding on this one i if it went for a really good price i would but not only is it above my price range right now but it also is just something that i would not for myself later in life but just not at the moment wow look at that look at that hydraulic engine uh panel right there opened right up wow look at the intake on this thing guys look at that, that intake look at there's my hand on it. that's the intake box i'm pretty sure yeah that's the intake right there and you got your oil dipstick here let's check the oil on this thing this thing probably takes like 30 quarts of oil oil looks good right where it's supposed to be this engine looks like a engine that should be on like a cruise ship or something look at the, i mean the size of this thing is massive even your your serpentine belt here i mean this thing this stuff always interests me guys it really does you got your panel here let's see maybe there's the fire was in this area let's see if we can see up in there see anything burnt up in there i don't smell anything burnt back here we got our uh huge oil filter here another gauge here for something maybe hydraulics another look at the filters down there it looks like it's a cummins in it because i see a cummins oil filter there but look at the alternator i mean even the everything in this i don't you guys some of you guys are probably like oh it's just a an rv engine you know i see those all the time but to me i don't see this stuff all the time and when i see something like <laughs> a serpentine belt engine that's this big i mean that to me is just kind of amazing i mean i i guess you could call me a little kid right now but this is the uh transmission dipstick i'm not even gonna try to take that out because i don't know <laughs> uh, it's just that uh, yeah i'm not even gonna mess with it not even gonna mess with it that's the engine though we're gonna go ahead and shut this because we still have to show the inside and we still have to get out of here in about 20 to 25 minutes before the auction starts because they will not let you out here while the auction's going on like I said, guys, this thing is, uh, it's big. It is very big. I can't wait to check out the inside of this. I hope you guys are interested too, because I don't, I've never been in something like this. A lot of extra storage here. We have a uh, panel here. Oh, here we go, guys. Here's the burnt, here's the burnt panel. Here's, they call it an engine burn, but it's actually this huge electrical panel right here. If you can see, look at that wire up there. It's all charred and burnt. 
and all up there is definitely a fire in here you can see the top of the panel so this whole panel would need to be replaced um and obviously you'd want to have someone that knew what they were doing that's experienced with this so you didn't oh wow the lights are on too wow okay so we're going to be very careful with this thing i'm not turning any switches or anything on I, the last thing i'd like to do is cause a fire out here or anywhere so we're not going to mess with anything but i will show you guys it's like generator in out switch here not going to touch that not touching anything like i said not going to risk that but we know at least we located where the damage is and what it is which really does not look that serious this was listed as a runs and drives um the panel in there it looked like it was for the generator and the interior options opening up the door here first thing you see is it looks like some some kind of granite or corian marble steps they got tile up here i mean you're talking about it's like a house <laughs> it's literally like a house Let's see if i can crawl up in here without falling back down oh god okay wow it is really hot in here i am glad that fireplace right there is not working not on right now okay it just beeped at me and we got some panels up here that are flickering on and off yeah we're not going to touch any of that i'm not even going to try to start this even if there is a key it's just not worth it i don't want to cause anybody looks like someone had this panel off here which goes to the side there which maybe is where they first seen smoke coming through you got a lot of like a, I would call this a cockpit. I wouldn't even call this a driver's seat. Call this a cockpit. Someone took the radio out of it. You got another thing here. I mean, and you also have slide out here, slide out there. So all this, you get an extra two or three feet of room on each side, another five or six feet of room in between. You got a lot of, a lot of space in here. Like I said, there's that fireplace, which is off thank thankfully let's give the seat a little quick test just quick test to sit in it oh yeah i could picture myself just looking out the front window traveling down the road about 48 miles an hour being extra safe but getting there safe and turning around to find a home away from home behind you i mean you got the storage in this thing you got this here which pulls out you got all your remotes there Looks like a big remote for the lights and everything, fans that are in the um, the slide outs as well, that are part of the RV. Uh, it looks like there's probably, they probably had the TV there before, obviously. So you have the TV set up there, and then uh, another couch here, which is probably where I'd be sleeping. Uh, you got this, what is this? A, no way, it's a dishwasher. They have a mini dishwasher built into this. I have never even seen something like that. Full-size microwave, full-size, um, full-size sink here, which you can also have the covers, which I've seen a lot of RVs have that kind of give you extra storage space, which they did that with the oven here too, or the stovetop. Speaking of oven, is there an oven in here? This is not, in, this is not the oven, guys, just so you can see what I was looking at if you didn't see before. It's dishwasher. There is a dishwasher thing down there. This is a dishwasher, which is pretty crazy to me but it doesn't look like we it looks like no oven here which is kind of surprising i see a lot of smaller rvs with the oven too but we do have a full-size stainless refrigerator it gets a little dark back here so i hope you guys can still see me all the lights are on which is kind of kind of off-putting in here just thinking about that this is listed as a fire damage and is this is this a two bathroom yes it is it has a bathroom here for your guests to use. Nice um, vent up there. What's up, guys? As you can see, I'm real sweaty right now. Let me make sure I think the camera is actually... Maybe is that a little clearer for you guys? I think it's just that mirror is a little dirty. But there's a bathroom here. And I mean, for an RV, you, know, you have to sit down and do your business in here. I <laughs> got Way more room than I've had in airport bathrooms. I guess that's not saying a lot, but you would say it's pretty comfortable in there. This also has some slide outs here. This is obviously the master bedroom. We're going to crawl over this mattress here, which feels pretty comfortable from that quick crawl. And then we get into here, which is a massive, massive bathroom for an RV. 
another vent. I mean, you got your toilet here, which is kind of a weird setup here. I don't know how this would, I guess you'd be like, you'd be sitting here like this and one foot would be up here and one foot down there. But either way, the shower alone makes this bathroom worth it. This shower is nicer than the one at my house. And you got so much, I mean, you could fit two or three, you could fit two people in here to take a shower. One little skylight there. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Someday, like I said, I would love to have something like this. Oh, my gosh. It just gets better and better. We got a washer and dryer in here, too. Well, I think that's going to about conclude the walkthrough of this one. We're just, uh, it's too hot right now. Nice, uh, I got a big, big closet back here. Go all the way to the back of the RV for the master bedroom. It's got the rod across the top. Oh, okay, okay, I just seen something. This is actually a slide out here. So this slides back, and you actually have more room in the bathroom back here, too. This right here, as you can see, will go back the distance from here to there. So you have all that extra room there, too. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. I am gonna, I'm gonna end the video here before I crawl out of here. I actually, I'll take you guys with me. Let's crawl out together. Let's go, oh, let's crawl out together. Ah. Get, not get my boots on the bed. Do my best not to get anything dirty. I mean, you got tile floors all the way through. Ample windows, ample storage. There's cabinets everywhere. I don't have time to go through all of these, but guys, I mean, there is cabinets everywhere. One last look here at the cockpit area. And we'll do one last walk around the front. Oh. You guys tell me what you think. But this one, that's been an experience for me. That's my first time ever in anything like this. And if I sounded like a little kid, it's because I felt like a little kid. <laughs> but one last walk along the front here. And we're going to go find our next one. Next up, not on my list, but is up in the same day today. And I just happened to walk by it and seen this thing. And I was like, you know what? Uh, maybe I'm, I'm RV, got the RV fever right now. Huge RV fever, but it caught my eye, guys. And we're going to take a look at this one too real quick. This one is a unknown damage 2000 motorhome. Top performer, it says. So kind of similar. It's like an older version of the one we just looked at. Definitely less fancy. But it's got a slide out there. It's got to be at least 35 foot long, I would say. Maybe 40. The 4 Travel U320. Whew, if I didn't mention it's hot out here, it is hot. Very, very hot. So we're going to make this a quick one. And actually, the last one we got to look at, a little sneak peek, is a boat way over there. And for a future video, it's going to be this one. I just decided because I walked up to look at this RV quick little side note growing up my dad had a boat just like this 31 foot fountain with twin 225s on it older engines but he loves these boats so we're gonna do a walk around on this boat when it comes up for sale for auction back to the beast in front of us here though looks like we got a camera up there for backing up which would be a very smart investment oh that thing was heavy wow guys we're gonna try to go back and look at the engine again a little better before we call this a, a day on this particular one but my phone just said it was too hot to keep recording, so I had to wait a few minutes for it to cool down and be able to use the camera again, and we're going to use that time to go inside, get a little interior shot. You can already tell, a little less fancy than the other one, but I guess it's interesting. They put the TV right there over the driver's seat. I guess it'd be nice for the passenger on long trips. We have our fuselage here, which has air brake system you got all your lights there hydraulic room extension it looks like this here is your transmission control which is pretty cool pretty fancy for a year 2000 vehicle you got this here which i don't know what that does i don't know what that does are the keys in this thing no no keys in it this one being an unknown damage and also listed as runs and drives I would have tried to start it for you guys, but there's no keys in here. I would have had to go to the office, ask them for the keys, then run back. Uh, we do have an owner's manual here with a lot of paperwork in it. I don't want to show any of that for, I don't want anybody's personal information on camera, but nice to have if you bought this. 
And let's take a look behind you guys at your living quarters here. This whole unit here from that wall to here slides out that way. So you're going to have a little extra room there. You have pretty much a sofa couch here along the side with a kitchen table. A little bit different setup than the last one, but we also do have a stainless steel refrigerator in this one. I think that's the same refrigerator I have in my house, actually, <laughs> from 2000. Ooh, yeah, that stinks a little bit in there. Someone needs to put a little armor all or something in there. Or whatever that stuff's called. Baking soda. It's hot. I can't think, guys. Sorry. Oh, we got full-size nice sink with some... Uh, Four burner stove there. Also, no oven in this one. That kind of surprises me. I usually, I've seen smaller ones in this with oven. So me, I'm not an RV expert either. So don't hold me to anything, guys. Good amount of storage in here. I got the bathroom here, which looks like it's a single bathroom unit. Big closet here. Well, I lied. Decent sized closet. I thought it went all the way over this way. Let's see what is on this side. I don't want to force that. Had a bed here. It's already made for you. What is that? Is that a mint? Oh, it's a safe. Huh. There's a built-in safe inside here, too. Nothing in it, of course. Yeah, nice little flat screen up here. Looks like someone did a little upgrade on the TVs over the years. Big old shower. I know you guys like your uh, shower scenes, so I'll give you a personal shower experience here. You hop in. Shut the door, hopefully hopefully you're comfortable, which you should be, because this is really not bad for an RV. Less room than the other one, but I mean, I can turn all the way around here and not hit any of my arms on anything, and I'm six foot, 235 pounds, so not bad, not bad. All right, guys, I'm sorry for the quick one on this, but we're going to be uh, we're gonna be heading on out. Oh, I will show you guys. I will open up this engine compartment one more time for you guys before we get on to the last item of the day here we'll do the actually there's a cloud out now too which is really heaven sent uh, we got some random stuff in here looks like there's a power outlet someone that put in here after market and, and that wiring kind of scares me I wonder if there's anything to do why it's here oh. there, make sure that's shut I didn't open this one up, but we will make sure this is shut. We got two big old batteries there. Big batteries and diesel fuel only, carburant diesel solvent, whatever that is. Maybe for that, it's probably the generator diesel. The generator for the diesel or the fuel compartment for the generator. For travel, if you were wondering what it was for. Let's open this bad boy one more time. I forgot about that. Actually, yeah. Oh, here we go. I'll just pick this thing. Let's just go all the way up. Okay. There we go. Look at that turbo in there, guys. Whole set turbo. Look at that thing. Man, I could put that on my 300ZX. There's an alternator over there. Looks like there's a starter solenoid bolted up to the wall back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We got some... Your AC lines here, your AC compressor, looking a little rusty, but not bad, especially for a 22 year old vehicle. All right, guys, well, we are gonna call this one here, the filter minder. Let me go ahead and shut this door, if I can, which I can. Make sure that is good and locked. And we're gonna say bye to the U320 RV and check out the last one on our list for the day. Last one up on my list for the day. A little something special for you guys. Big old boat. I know how much you guys like your big boats. And I can't say I blame you, because I do too. And this one is big. It's about as big as that first one that I showed in a few videos ago. And that video really took off. I wanna thank you guys for a second for that. Thank you so much for all the thumbs up and I appreciate you guys so much. Almost 100,000 views on that video. Please like, subscribe, share it to the channel. Share that video. Share any of these other videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. Leave me comments if it's something you don't like. And I could try to avoid that kind of stuff in the future. But 
we're here right now to take a look at this Jefferson 42 huge boat, which needs a, looks like a huge amount of work. Got a couple holes here in the hull. You guys can see in there, give you a little inside shot of what the inside of the hull looks like. Look at that. I mean, you, I wish this thing could talk, guys. You could just imagine the stories from when this thing was new and people out on the boat and just enjoying enjoying so much time on the water in this thing. I'm sure, you know, nights, if not weeks, could be spent just anchored up, having a good time, relaxing. Oh, guys, yeah, this thing is, uh, it's very cool, very cool. And we got a, uh, Jeffer 8, it's a 1987 Jefferson Sun Deck 42 white boat is what it's listed as. Uh, this is a pure sale too, guys. It was pre-bid to $1 before I came in here. And if it sells for a dollar, you bring it home for a dollar. Plus fees, which would probably be a few hundred. But look at the, I mean, I don't even know where you'd begin with this. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get up in here. I would love to get in here and show you guys a little better. But other than reaching up here and kind of showing you quick what I can maybe see through the windows and stuff I'm not gonna be able to see too much here i can try on the back part here but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna risk it too much here actually crawl up here a little bit uh, i'm not gonna go too far but i'd have to crawl through there but yeah man that is a uh, Cool deal, guys. Cool deal. That's. I would love to get up in there, like I said, but I just I can't. I can't safely get in there. Too much stuff laying around that could fall down, or has some kind of issues, you know, getting cut on anything. I just don't want to risk that. If you guys like to see me risk it, let me know. <laughs> Maybe I'll consider it more for the next video, but. Got a couple of big props down here. Oh, it looks like that took a pretty big hit right there, the rudder. This one here looks solid. One of the trim tabs is missing. The big old trim tab on that side, still there, but bent. Oh yeah. That thing's cool, that thing is cool. Well, sorry for the quick one on this last one, guys. I wish I could get you inside this thing to see. God, I wish I could see inside of it. I would love to just crawl through and kind of see. Oh, we got a little broken window here. I'll try to get you guys up in here. It looks like there's a pillow block in it. Okay, I pushed the pillow out of the way a little bit. Let me see if I can. Oh, please don't fall off if my phone falls off in here. <laughs> That's gonna be bad. I don't know if you guys can even see anything, but I hope you can. There's a view of the interior there. All right, be very delicate. Back out. <laughs> I'm holding the phone on my hand, handheld thing right now, and it's if it fell off in there, I would be uh, I'd be crawling up in there to get it. <laughs> That's another reason why I don't want to crawl on this is the way they have it set up. I don't know. I mean, it looks. I'm sure Copart did a great job. They do this all the time, but me personally, in my mind, if I start rocking the thing in there, God forbid it falls off the stands. I don't want. I don't want to be the one responsible for that kind of thing. I've, you gotta make smart decisions while you're out here too and you know keep yourself safe so that being said that's as far as we're gonna see this oh i can see some throttles there's the i can see show you guys that area a little bit at least you can see right there the throttles and looks like the you know the cockpit driving area Got the radio and the two other things there and just looking at that like looking at the where you drive the boat at it just makes me think of some guy up there. I could see him like battling a storm coming home from 100 miles offshore and this boat just, you know, taking a beating but getting everybody home safe. Maybe not the last trip. <laughs> well, I hope we got everybody's home safe, but the boat obviously did not make it safe out of the last trip. So if anybody was involved or on it when it happened, I hope you made it through 100% unscathed and okay. Hopefully you just weren't on the boat. But that's going to be the end of the boat vid for this video. We'll do one more. See if we can peek in this window right here. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Yeah, no. 
I tried, but I'm not gonna, it's, I can't, it's not, not doable, but that's gonna be the last one on the list for today. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I really enjoyed it. It's probably the funnest video I ever had making for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share the video. I, you know, I love doing this stuff. So if you guys loved it, watching it, that makes it that much better for me. So let me know either way. If you got suggestions, if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Give me a comment, suggest what I could do better, what stuff you'd like to see more, what stuff you don't want to see as much of. And I'll bring it to you. I will make sure I do my best to not only hyperventilate walking out of here, but bring you guys the content that you want to see. And before we sign off here for the day, look at this thing. I right, one last. This is what happens to me when I mean, look at the look at the quiet, cool AC <laughs> built into this thing. This is why I end up spending four hours here when I come to spend an hour of doing videos. Look at the door for this thing. This is like a it's an Airstream trailer, too. Airstream trailer. Wow. This one will have to be in a future video for you guys. Because this thing, I want to look at it. But I need to get out of here before the auction starts. Because they don't let you be on the yard when the auction officially starts. But stay tuned for this guy for a future video. And until then, you guys stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.